What is going on, my frosty friends? My name is Wintercast Ice, and welcome to the Hayseed Night. Okay, so this is a game that I found on itch.io. It's made by Sandra MJ. If you guys want to check her out, I'll leave a link in the description to her itch.io page. But anyways, guys, uh, I really thought I saw it and I found it very interesting. Uh, basically, it's just kind of a visual novel game where you kind of explore the world of uh, the character whose name I can't remember off the top of my head. But he basically is, he's trying to train to become a knight, but will he or will he not is debatable. We're going to go ahead and get right into this because I'm very interested to see how the game is. Okay, this version includes up to two chapters, uh, up to chapter two, and a major aesthetic update regarding character designs. Anything displayed is subject to change in later versions. As always, keep up with developments on my Twitter account, which you guys can. I will leave a link in the description to her Twitter account. So. Okay. Next. Narrator. This is hard. Harder than I would have thought. Okay. Coming back, I mean. I've been walking for who knows how long, but I, here I am. So let's see how... Irulums changed in my absence. All right, I, I was kind of struggling with a the name there. Anyways, Hirub, so good, so good to see you. Hirub, the royal pathway, fancy as ever. Oh, this is actually like really well done, like paint, yeah. like paint job right there. Yeah. See people, tiny people. Gods, I still hate you all. Whoa, that's a little harsh. I swear that if someone so much as looks at me twice, I'm leaving and not coming back. Well, it's a good thing you're a narrator and all you do is talk. For real. For real! God. Seriously. Okay. No? No, no, look at me? Really? How can you ignore this big hat? Well, what do you want from us? You, you don't want us to look at you, but you want us to look at you? Make up your mind. Oh, ow, jeez! Ow! Do you even know who I am, you <laughs> you witless bunch of fop doodles? Don't call me a fop doodle. Oh, ow! That was my hat. <laughs> Fine, whatever. I guess that it's been longer than I thought. Leave the whole fame and glory thing to the people who actually deserve to be mentioned. Who are you? Like me. God dang it! Who are you? <laughs> After all, I'm basically doing charity work here. There's no reason for me to come back. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I should have just stayed out of Axahor forever. I should have learned not to care about the things they say about that dumbass at this point. Harsh! But the thing, the things they've been saying about him are just crazy. The Knight of the Upper Field. That's how they call him now. That's what they, how, that's how they call him now? And they sing dumb songs about all the awesome things he ever, he never did. Battling monsters, serving whatever king or queen rules at the time, casting spells, loving does, HA! Until morning comes, making foes vanish with a single scream. And you know what? It's getting really hard to remember what's true and what's a lie, and that's scary. Oh, gosh. That's the single scariest thing that's ever happened to me. I like him too much to ignore this anymore, I'm so I'm going home. Oh, wait. Wait, hold- what? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell everyone what kind of idiot their dear knight is. Figuratively. Well, I mean, in a book. Oh, without my name. Okay. I don't. I don't especially want. I. I don't especially want to be lynched. I, do you know what lynched means? Um. Uh, it didn't matter. It doesn't matter. I think. Um. Oh wait. I say it's like hung. <laughs> oh wait, right. This was a letter. Can you read it? Uh, can you read yet? If so, tell your mother I hate. I tell your mother I hate her. Ow! If not, <laughs> no. I guess she'll just burn this letter for your convenience. What the frick? <laughs> Wish me luck. All the same, I have no idea how to start this. T screw you, man. Chapter one: The Fickle Queen. What better way to start the story than when things are about to go south? Well, it's fair. Adder. Adder. Hello. Hey, lad. Oh gosh, hi. How are you? Oh god. You're... Do we have to go through this every single fuck? Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh gee, I'm sorry. I was sleeping. Oh boy. Here we go. All right. A beast. Okay. Oh, nice. Honestly, for starters, nice illustrations. I like this. I've always liked this style when it comes to visual novels. I saw a beast. Did you? Way to call me an eyesore. 
Ow. Well, I mean, actually, you know, the chi the missing tooth and the chip tooth actually make you look cool. I'm down with that. I'm telling you, I saw a beast. Okay. Right. Okay. Look, I'm not drunk enough for this, so good. This ain't no time to sleep. The beast may be gone, but the Makadar is still out there. What the frick is going on? <laughs> oh, God. I do like his design. Like, that is a nice freaking... Yeah. I, I wouldn't call that a bandana, but I would call that uh, some kind of chest wear. Plus the eye patch. I want to know the story behind that eye patch. It's the forest so out there has come to blankets, find me. But not a blanket. Don't you make yourself feel a little special by making you think that something's in the forest is going to have to find you specifically? Can you stop screaming like an idiot and use your brain for a second? So your name is Guaf. Guaf? Something like that. Nice name. I knew they'd get to the city one day! Oh, Jesus! He's vibrating! Is he having a seizure? We gotta tell everyone! Okay, ca calm down! There are no damn trees around, you dimwit! Fair point. A long shush followed right after, or that's what, or that's what we'll go with since the words their dear neighbors used were too care colorful to be reproduced. Yeah, probably a wise call. <laughs> oh, then what did you holler for, Mr. Bard? So, Mr. Bard? <laughs> the sun ain't up yet. If you don't quit your running, we're gonna get a beaten. Gosh, what neighborhood do you live in? Says you, the buck who hath been delighting mine ears with his pitiful wailing all night long. Oh. Say what? Say what? <laughs> say what now? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> You've been talking in your sleep again. Oh, God. That's a bad habit, honestly. Uh, but the beast! Sorry. Not my fault! Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> well, slap my head and call me silly! I'm so, so, so sorry, Mr. Bard. I forgot we were an heirloom for a moment there. But no more. I'm gonna make sure than sure to keep my dreams dead silent from now on. I'm not gonna lie, I really like the voice actor who does Aider. I mean, as, if I remember on the page correctly, it says that the creator does all the voices, uh, or does, or does he do all the, or does the person do all the, I can't, I, the name is kind of, the name uh, for the page does not specify it's a male or a female, so I do apologize, creator, but uh, if you did do all the voice acting for starters, props, so far, this is pretty cool, but I really like Aider's voice, that's really nice. I think it's Adder. Adder, Aider. Say that's what you said last time. Ah. Ah. Can't a deer have a hangover in peace for once? N never. <laughs> you know that I'd move away if I could, but... You know I'd move away if I could. Uh, don't sweat it, kid. Once you're faring better, you'll take us both out of our misery. Sounds good. Wait. Fair? Fair. Fair. Fair? Fair. Oh, three. Don't. The fire! <gasps> the fire! I swear to bite that kid. If you keep screaming, I'm going to kill you. Not if they get to me first! Oh, God. And so, Aider's uh, heavy hoof stomped to the ground with the force of a stampede as he sprinted away, making... Again, name... Gioff? Mr. Bard regret every decision that led him, led to him suffering this torment. Glad we sorted that out. Yeah, I can agree so. So, wide awake now and running as fast as his clumsy hoops would let him, Aider set off to the bazaar. Is this like... Is this supposed to be like Middle Eastern kind of location? Because like the bazaar would be a better way to pronounce it if... Or, well, then again, they probably say the same thing in like Africa. I don't know. It's hard to say. Actually, now that I think about it, no, because it wouldn't be called a bazaar in medieval times. It would be called, because they, they would call it the market, if I remember correctly. Nice bongos. <laughs> a whole year had come and gone since he first set foot on the streets of Slander District, the most infamous slums of the capital. Oh, boy. Why would you live in the capital slums? <laughs> I'd sooner live out in the country. I don't care what anybody has to say about Oh, like, oh, it's this big city. It's a good place. To no, just... Move to the move to the countryside. You you got a, you got a better place there. The the slums are never the place to live. A place so heinous that walking there alone at night was considered a suicide attempt. A place where you were in your right to keep a house if you could outlast its previous owner. That's pretty dark. Just like the casual bongos in the background. 
Where he'd <laughs> once felt his poor fawn fearing for his life, now he felt like a poor deer fearing for his life. Wow, so much has changed. <laughs> but at least he actually knew his way around after such a long time avoiding brigands. Uh, he had no time to spare working, uh, working, uh, worrying about trivial matters such as being robbed or stabbed. Yeah, totally it's something you don't have to worry about. For he knew fully well that he was to meet his destiny. <gasps> The page was gonna skin me alive! Go run! Run, Aider! A destiny which most likely didn't really include being flayed by his dearest employer. Though we can't rule out the possibility of his direct superior whacking him in the head for oversleeping on such an important date. Uh, what if she hates me now? Okay, well, calm down. Then? then? The patron won't have no problem kicking me out! Well, yeah. You kick me out, keep my skin as a payment! That'd be pretty dark. No, that's dumb. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty dumb. Yeah, that's dumb. But it'll kill me anyway. Oh, crap, 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 crap. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so immersed was he in his fa fa fatalistic thoughts invading his head that his brain, which was, by all accounts, mostly made out of sawdust, didn't pay much my pay any mind to the path his hooves were following. Crap, 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 crap. Ow. And so, as it was to be expected from someone not heeding the wise advice, look where you're going, he soon met the first obstacle on his way to the plaza. A, a wall. wall. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Uh, so uh, Ow. Oh, dear. Oh, gosh. In uh, any other uh, place, that soft chuckle would have meant that Ader wouldn't have the benefit of living with his failures alone. In the slums, it could mean that he wouldn't have the benefit of living at all. <laughs> That was almost impressive. Oh, wow. Thank you. I, I do try to impress. I truly thought that you were going to run oh, straight boy. through that wall for a moment. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> that wall must be weak, then. The voice got closer by the second, followed by a strangely harmonic tinkling. I was about to say, who is following me with the, uh, with the music? <laughs> a melody that danced in his ears and paralyzed his mind, rendering him frozen in the spot at the thought of an incoming murderous lady. Fair enough. Ader shut his one eye remaining shut his one remaining eye and held his breath deeply, knowing that it would it would be the last. Not dead yet. Yeah, good sign. Not, not dead yet. Still not dead. Wow. <laughs> Lucky day. Not dead yet. Still not dead. How come he was still alive? That's just rude. <laughs> yes, not killing you is the rude thing. Between his blurry sight and the op obfuscating darkness, Ader could barely tell apart the silhouette standing right in front of him. He should have run and screamed and begged for his life, but instead, he hesitated long enough for a few stray sun rays to wander among the rundown houses, finally casting light upon his foe. Whoa. His foe? Oh, wow. God, gosh darn, good art styling. For your information, everyone already thinks that Rose are thick skulled. We don't need another martyr for the cause. Aw. I like... She's Man, that's a nice design. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like her clothes, too. That's a nice variety of colors. Ader's absolute lack of reaction made her mocking smile falter. To be fair, he had indeed left a sizable hole on the wall. He just crashed again. <laughs> but that was hardly the cause for his sudden drop in mental speed. Yeah, totally. Are you okay? Uh, yes. That's the I, I word. I like her name. Her name's Hottie. It's either Hottie or Hody. I think I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Hottie. Hello, Miss Hottie. <laughs> And nodded, though he really hadn't he hadn't really heard the question. Sensing that the mystery the mysterious lass extended a soft hand toward him in an ama God, I'm sorry, amable, I'm so amable. amable gesture. I'm sorry guys, I haven't been reading much lately, so my words are still faltering a little. Take her hand. Play it cool. No, take her, take, her, take her hand. She's willing to hop uh, help you up. What are those? Powerhouse Skull Crushers. No, I'm just kidding. Those are my hands. I know they're short. Please don't stare. Aw. What kind of nonsense is that? I'd never seen hands like those before. Oh, wow. Really? Thank you. My hands? You like my hands? Hey. Hmm. Were you born with them? How much weight can you lift? Can you use tools at all? Or wear a shirt? What's wrong with your neck? Is that a hood or a scarf? I love the pattern, by the way. Oh, God. That's a lot of questions. I don't think our character can quite answer them all. I, I think you need to stick with single syllables and try one question at a time. 
Uh, in the meantime... In the meantime, what are you? Are you a billy goat mixed with something else? Because you got a tail. It's a nice tail, though. Um, uh, a lot of questions all at once. So... so oh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I'm sorry man. What was the question? Yeah, there's a lot of questions. A lot of questions. It's a lot of questions. You? What are you supposed to be? Well, I reckon I'm a deer. Just uh, throwing that out there. I'm uh, I'm Aider. Oh, well. Uh, a prairie I'm buck. You're run-of-the-mill prairie buck, man. Just you know, my mom gave me shovels for hands and a gourd for a neck. They're better for work in the fields. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oh, come on. I want the actual story. Uh, yeah, the actual story. Uh, I can bench press a mountain. I can push everything out of my way. <laughs> I don't think that she's going to buy it. You want the born bits? Okay. See, I used to be all big and strong. But then I come to the city and what do you know? Food ain't so easy to come by. I was so hungry that I'd even eat the rocks of the street. And I go to bed hungry one night, and another, and I keep on starving till I end up two meals short of turning into a walking pile of bones. Sipped for my hands. <laughs> they just won't get. And they're for real heavy, let me tell you. Oh, goodness. That would explain why there's like a lack of biceps right here. Yeah. Like, because his arms are massive. He's scrawny. But, like, Jesus. So, that's the gist of it. You want to hear about my neck, too? Or my name, at least? Or my name, at least? The girl's eyes narrowed as she stared at Ader. He fixed his gaze on his hands, considering the strange path the conversation had taken. Yeah, totally, you know. So, what you are saying is that you used to be plump? Well, I wouldn't say plump. P plump? Like fruit? Well, I used to eat a bunch of fruit before I came down here last year, yeah. <laughs> but I would- oh god. You missed Last him. year? Wait, how many eyes did you have then? Oh god, that's a good question. Nick, could, could we get the origin story how here? How many? Five, I think, but I lost the other four. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. Just the one, man. How did I lose my eye? I want to know. I knew it. You've changed a lot, but it's you. You're that loud-mouthed one-eyed chub. What? Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, watch what you're saying. Uh, say what? It's me. Don't tell me you've forgotten me. Uh, no, of course not. Gioff had warned Ader multiple times about the dangers of it's me scams, but he was pretty tempted to fall into this one. Ma'am, I don't know what you're selling, but I ain't gonna buy it. <laughs> Come on, don't you remember that night on the bridge under Hirab's statue? With the guards laughing at you. You didn't hit your head that hard, did you? I might have. Who knows? <laughs> I bet those guards had one haystack of a night laughing at some poor buck. But I'm pretty darn sure that wasn't me. Hmm. <laughs> I'd remember you. Trust me. It was a pretty long time ago, but... but... Wait, I know. She bit her lip just long enough to make Ader Luce's need to understand the situation anymore. Come closer. Oh, okay. Uh, who, who, me? Almost asked the deer, yet there was no one else hiding in the mist of dawn. I said come closer. Oh, God. Uh, All right, then. Here I come. Uh, <laughs> That's it? Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> come on. Don't make me walk over there. <laughs> Don't make me come over there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Something tells me he's going to get smacked. <laughs> Boop. Oh, God! He, she booped me on the snoot! <laughs> That's close enough. Okay, cool. Oh, God. She slipped right under Ader's arm, uninvited, but not unwelcomed. Now, if you could get on your knees, I... Whoa! Too um, far. Vibrating? You know what? Maybe you should see a doctor after all. Yeah, probably would Just be... Just see, a... there you are! I didn't do nothing! Oh, I'm innocent! Give me a break. I didn't do nothing! In less than a blink, her smile was back on uh, her smile was back on her face as she turned to face the voice in the oh distance. Boy. It was some other doe in similarly flashy clothes, hurriedly stomping her way past uh, towards Jasif, apparently. Jasif. 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 You called. Yay. Yeah, We've been looking everywhere for you. Back away. I hey, I'm with Ader. Made a right call. 
Some wench. And so you found me. Congratulations. Now, if you don't mind... Miss Rochelle's had us searching for hours. She wants you back immediately. God, I wonder what Jessa, uh, Jasif does. Well, I'm kind of busy, so... Would you be so kind to go tell her to find someone else to bother while I catch up with my friend here? What friend? The fair's about to start. Head back already or you'll get us all in trouble. Yeah, God. <laughs> the red-haired girl stood completely still, but she, uh, she, uh, she held her breath for an instant. I'm sorry. Was that an order? Maybe. What? I... Miss Rochelle said... Yes? Say... Do you know what happened to the last wench who had the gall to order me around? Oh gosh, I wonder what's happening. Jessie's smile was still plastered on her face, but her eyes had narrowed down to a squint, sharpening her long eyelashes even further. I... I don't... 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 what? Where to... find out? God, what are you? I want to know what animal you are. That The doe was looking for her stammered... Color drained from her mine? Me? Main. Main? Main. After a few ten seconds, a pleased smile spread across Je <laughs> Joseph's face. Come now, honey. Don't make that face. I'm just joking here. I've got too much going on as it is to begin picking fights with my sisters. Don't you think? I mean, that's true. I mean, she's obviously super busy. R right. Yes, there we go. Then that's settled. Let's go. Yeah! Jessup whipped her braid, uh, her braid as she turned around sharply, making the choir bells that hung from the, her hips announce her leave. Ader had barely just a second to register what happened. He could swear something had moved in a corner, but he couldn't care less. The finest lass he'd laid, uh, he'd laid eyes upon in his whole life was about to disappear, and she seemed to have forgotten all about him. Facing the prospect of never seeing her again, he tried at the very least to catch up to introduce formally... Wait! I... Uh? Yes. Uh -huh. But as Ader had, was about to speak, he had the same feeling of missing something. And as his gaze drifted, uh, drifted, following her back once more, he noticed something else moving behind her derriere. Something long, uh, like a whip, ending on a red tuft of fur. Something that most definitely didn't look like a servine tail. It's confused, his, his eye quickly traveled to, uh, from the zone where he or her back lost its name to the top of its uh, top of her body. Not its body, it's a female. I know, praying, wishing, desperately hoping that he wouldn't find what he found sprouting from the top of her red head. Horns. Coiled black barhand horns, longer than his own rack. Ader had to hold back a yelp. He'd been so distracted by the rest of her features that... No, no way. I wasn't looking at her. Ader, Ader yelled internally. Beads of sweat then began falling down from his temple as his face became even more flustered. There's no way I... But as in, if meaning to activate in his inner turmoil, Jessif smiled one last time with a mischievous glint in her eyes. <laughs> don't worry. I'll see you around. Yeah, don't worry about it. Handsome. Oh. Oh. Ader was so, so many things. He was goofy. He was loud. He had a smile that would light up a whole town. He was a gigantic and yet, if there was one, a th if there was a thing he'd never call himself, it was, no doubt, handsome. Ouch. I think he looks good. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, a little skinny. Really needs to put some meat on his bones, but that aside, I mean, he looks fine. Frickin' even the even the missing eye makes him look like a frickin' badass man. After all, a buck's worth may, be, may as well be as large as the, his horns are, and his were, well, tiny, almost childlike. That doesn't matter. Hey, man, you still representin'. Like, be, pr be proud of your horns. And so that offhanded compliment, that mere insuasion that someone found him actually good-looking made his heart flutter. And by flutter, I mean it may as well have burst out his chest right then. So, just for just one second, he forgot about the lady in front of him, was horned. For a moment, he forgot all the things he'd heard about gazelles. His face turned red, his jaw came loose, but he had he been able to artic articulate, he'd have found he'd completely forgotten his ability to talk. He still knew how to do one thing, though. Run. Run. Ah! <laughs> Dream of endless suffering. <laughs> Wordless heartbreak. 
This time, his shame was stronger than the wall. <laughs> he ran through the wall, Jesus! <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that's a good place to end the video for now. This game is fun. This is actually really cool. Uh, I don't even know if the uh, I don't know if the creator will be watching this, but if you did, if you do end up watching this, this is actually really fun. Like honestly, the artwork is really well done. The story is very enjoyable, and I like the characters. They're a little goofy, and I like that. Ader is freaking awesome, man. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you do want to see more of this. Uh, please let me know in the comment section down below. Obviously, I won't know if you like a series unless you let me know. But for now, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you press down that like button like there's no tomorrow. And hopefully, guys, I will get to see every single one of you in the next video. So make sure you take care and you stay frosty.